What's happening everyone, my name is Alex and welcome back to a new unboxing video. So I've seen many comments from people asking for a review of the VK World S8 and I checked out the pictures online and yes, online the phone looks very very good but we've seen that many times and in reality the phone doesn't look anywhere as close um, as those pictures online. So I finally got my hands on this phone. So the phone has a 6 inch screen with a 1080p resolution, we also have the MediaTek 6750T which is an octa-core CPU that's paired with 4 gigs of RAM and 64 gigs of internal storage, so pretty standard stuff. And with that being said, let's get this box open and check out the phone. Alright, so the box doesn't look that amazing on the front, we see the brand name on this side, we have the IMEIs and on the back we have a sticker that's not even straight that has um, some of the specifications. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this, we have the phone right here, holy, and it feels heavy. And uh, first let's see what else we have in the box here. Alright, so everything is out. So we have a silicone case, which is great because otherwise um, we wouldn't be able to find one. We also have a screen protector. We have the user manual that nobody reads. We have a USB-C to a 3.5 mil um, audio jack. So I'm assuming that the phone doesn't have um, an audio jack. We also have, this must be a USB-C cable. And... This looks like a longer than a normal USB-C cable, but I'll definitely check that um, out for the full review. And of course we have um, the power adapter right here. So this is a fast um, charger. And um, lastly the SIM card um, tray removal tool. Alright, so I'm gonna leave all these aside. And let's check out the phone. So first of all the phone is heavy, like it's heavy, it's got over 220 grams at least, but um, again I'm gonna check all that um, for the full review. So on the back here we have a little plastic, and the back seems to be made out of plastic I think. We also have a couple of cameras there, we also have the fingerprint scanner that looks just like the fingerprint scanner that we've seen on the S8, so in the wrong position. And uh, of course at the bottom we have the VK World uh, logo. The frame is made out of metal, um, on the right hand side we have the power button, at the top we have um, the slot for um, the SIM card, and on the left we have the volume keys, and moving all the way to the bottom there um, you're gonna find the microphone, we also have um, a USB-C port and the speaker. So kind of like an S8. So we also have a little screen protector on the front, and let's turn this on. Well, first of all, um, I see a speaker at the top there and a couple of um, sensors. And at the bottom, um, the front-facing camera. So, I'm curious to see how this looks. Well, if you look at this phone and the pictures that we've seen online, um, well, the phone doesn't look anything like those pictures um, that we've seen online. So, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, set this up and then I'll come back um, once it's all set up. And I'm back and it only took me a couple of minutes to set this up. So first of all the screen, because we have those large bezels all around the screen, the phone doesn't look anywhere as good as um, what we've seen online. And um, since we have this camera at the bottom here, um, the phone kind of looks a bit funny in my opinion. Now the screen does look fairly good, the colors are um, pretty vibrant and um, it seems to get fairly bright. Maybe not as bright as we've seen um, from other phones in the past, but it should be decent um, if you take it outside. There is also a software um, update available and I'm gonna do that before I do anything else. But um, next I wanna check out the um, fingerprint scanner. So the power button is placed very high up and it's kind of difficult to reach it, like you have to struggle to reach that power button. And if you touch the fingerprint scanner, the phone unlocks but um, of course it takes like a second and a half uh, to two seconds to unlock. So definitely not the fastest fingerprint scanner out there and it's kind of difficult to actually reach the fingerprint scanner as well and uh, that um, home button. So the placement for those buttons isn't um, that great. So leaving that aside, um, the phone also supports dual band Wi-Fi because I've seen my um, 5 GHz Wi-Fi band um, right here so that's um, a good thing. So next let's check out these cameras because we have two cameras on the back. Where are the cameras? Camera right here. So I'm about 99% sure that the second camera is fake. So let's um, go and try that one um, to begin with. So if we cover one, now let's cover this, the second one. So I have the second camera covered. 
and of course it um, can take pictures so the second camera on the back um, it's fake and i can tell you that um, right away taking a regular looking picture let's see that picture here so i took a couple of pictures and let's check this picture out i'm gonna put it on the screen so you can see it yourself and the picture looks okay, but I mean, we've seen uh, a lot of cameras that do okay uh, with plenty of light. And if we turn this around towards myself, so the camera is sitting at the bottom, so you're gonna have to turn the screen um, around um, every single time, I mean the phone around every single time you take a picture. And I'm gonna put these pictures um, on the screen so you can see them um, as well. So the picture does um, look decent, but um, again, nothing, uh, nothing special considering the price um, of the phone. So next I'm gonna go ahead and install the Antutu Benchmark and the Geekbench 4. I also wanna do that update before and um, then I'll come back with the results. Alright, and after quite some time I'm finally back. So on the Antutu Benchmark we get a score of about 48,000, so a fairly low score. And on the Geekbench 4 we get a multi-core score of about 1900 and a single core score of about 613. So not the greatest um, scores out there, but I guess I'm um, pretty normal for that um, MediaTek 6750. Now I've also noticed that the phone comes pre-installed with um, some apps like this one right here. I'm wondering if we can... I guess we can't um, uninstall it, which is a shame. Is that for you? Yeah, so I can't, um, I can't uninstall that app, so a few garbage apps uh, that the company installed um, here as well. So for the price, I'm not exactly impressed with this phone. The phone doesn't look anything like um, those pictures that we've seen online. The power button is uh, placed in the wrong spot. The fingerprint scanner is placed in the wrong spot. Um, and uh, those scores on the Antutu Benchmark and the Geekbench 4 are kind of low. And this phone costs about $190, I believe. But for about 170 you could buy the Ulephone Power 3S. And I've reviewed um, this one... Um, yesterday so i do recommend getting something like that because with this one i'm not um, convinced of course i'm gonna do a full review in a few days after i get a chance to use it more but um, as for the first impressions well the phone doesn't um, feel anything special all right guys hopefully you enjoyed this video if you did like it uh, press that like button don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you in the next one thanks for watching